Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you another interesting groovy example. This is example number 8. In this example I am going to use a cross dimension function. And in order to make it easy to understand I have taken one scenario over here so that uh, it is easy for you to understand where do you apply this function. So let me show you my data grid first. My requirement is like this. We have got different types of expenses, travel and entertainment expenses. And I've got in turn has got different types of travel expense, car rental, taxes, miscellaneous. I've got other entertainment expenses which I haven't shown over here. So my requirement is like this. My business wanted to apply some validation error. Okay. So the condition is like this. They would like to check for total expenses total car rental taxes and miscellaneous expenses cannot exceed more than the 20 percent of my travel and entertainment expenses this is what we would like to check so let me show you what is the requirement here how do you do that i'm going to take a sum of sum of car rental taxes and miscellaneous travel expense total value this value cannot be more than 20 percent of total travel and entertainment expenses so i would name it as a total travel expense and this value if it is more than 20 percent i'll display this in terms of percentage if it is more than 20 percent then i get a validation error that it cannot be more than 20 percent right now it is more than 20 percent so i like to highlight this cell the entire row with certain color with the tool tips stating that the total expenses of car rental taxes and miscellaneous travel expenses exceeding more than 20 percent of my total travel and entertainment expenses now let's see how to do that so i'm going to create a new rule over here and i'm going to use the cross dimension function go to rules create a groovy script rule the default rule is calculation script right click create new rule I would name this rule as a cross dim function. Cross dim example. And default is a designer view. I'll ch change this view to edit script and uh, from calculation to groovy script. Because I would like to traverse or browse through the entire grid, and therefore I'm going to use operation dot grid dot data cell iterator, data cell iterator, and you can iterate through entire cell dot each, and this is my scope of my iterator. Okay, what do I want to do? It I would like to read this cell. Let it, I have put into Excel sheet. I'll take a sum of this. Some of these three account car rental taxes and missing travel expenses account number is given over here so you can take a sum of this i'm going to create a variable called bar total expenses total expenses and uh, i would use a rather total travel expense total travel expense equals to object grid iterator object id dot uh, I use a cross dim function over here. Cross dim cell, it takes an argument. You define a name of the account. The name of the account is 7650, 7650.data. I want same to be added up with other account. 7650 plus 7680 plus 
Third account is 7699. 7699. Now I like to take the total travel and entertainment expenses. You can use an alias name or account name. Account name 7005. So I would use the variable where total travel and entertainment. I write in brief T and E travel and entertainment expenses. And this will hold my total travel and entertainment expenses. So cross sell dim, cross dim sell dot name of the account, which is 7005. Dot data. The 7005 account I remember because recently I added this account. So you can check this account or a dimension 7005 and search it. The total travel and entertainment expenses. See this account. Total travel and entertainment expenses. So now I've got both accounts. Some of them I'll divide this total travel and entertainment expenses. Total travel expenses by total travel and entertainment expenses. So I create a variable called travel expense percent. Equals to total travel and entertainment expenses. Sorry, total, total, total travel expense divided by total travel and entertainment expenses. And then I check this value. If the value of this variable is more than 20%. Then what would you like to do it? I like to display a custom message. So in order to custom message, use an object called it dot. You can use a validation message over here. So add validation error. Add validation error takes three argument. And I put over here what argument takes add validation error the color the integer type of a color background color the tool tips and a boolean value so you can use any color i'm going to use a color over here dark pink color i already made a note of the color in the previous class in the previous video i've shown you the uh, the site or the url from there you can extract the numeric color rgb and custom message i say total Travel expense cannot exceed 20% of total travel and entertainment expenses. And I'm going to put a Boolean expression. That's it. If you like, you can display this number so that you get to know what is happening. I'm going to display this number total travel expense. Optionally, in a log file, you can see this number total travel expense dollar name of the variable. Comma total TNE total travel and entertainment. Dollar name of the variable and percent expenses and percent expenses i mean it will help you to debug your code now let's validate this make sure you balance your parentheses you balance your parentheses yes Save it and validate this. So variable, maybe I misspell it. Travel
add validation error right so my print align has some error probably i use a wrong variable name okay this mess spell i would take the value from here dollar name of the variable travel and miscellaneous expense and percentage save and validate and deploy and then i'm going to associate with the data form validation pass deploy this and this associate with data form and i'm going to run this before save this is done i already created a sample data form the one i shown you so go to your data form open this in edit mode and associate this business rule groovy test one this is my data grid go to business rule all the business rules are associated over here visible select your business rule cross dim function cross dim function select this and when do you want to run it i want this to be run before load so that's it now you can test it you can test it open this data grid under data groovy test 1 and check the condition so right now condition is false 240 is not 20% of 15600 i am going to make it uh enter over here 3000 and 2000 so my total travel expense exceeding 20% of total travel and entertainment expenses see save it and condition is true over here and look at my massive total travel expenses cannot exceed more than 20% of total travel entertainment expenses this got created and in addition to this you can look at the log file so the condition is true over here okay so that's it for today you can check the log